Hey there and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to edit and uh, upload results and photo albums to one of the race sites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in here to the race team website. You can do this on the front end as long as the articles are already created. So once you log in you'll come up to the uh, user page where everybody pops up to. So I'm going to find the article I want to edit. In this case it's on the Our Races page. And it's going to be the Langley Speedway that I'm going to edit here. You'll notice that since I'm logged in as an authorized user, not everybody sees this, just people that are authorized to edit files on the site. Uh, there's an edit button right here. And what you do is just click the edit button. It'll open up in the editor view. And what I'm going to do is, I've actually already put this in. All that I've done here is I just typed in photos of the Langley Speedway crit. Highlighted that click the link button and then up here in the URL is where I would paste the uh, URL. I actually got that from Glenda's message right here so I just copied that link went into here, pasted that made sure it all has the correct uh, text right here I'm going to update and there's that link the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the results. I'm just going to type in results. Highlight that little piece of text right there that I'm going to make into a link and click the link button. Now for this one I have a PDF that I've already created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the document button here. It's going to open up the document browser. I have not uploaded this yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the upload button and you can see you can actually drag and drop files here if you're comfortable with the uh, file manager, the Windows file manager, you can just drag and drop your files. I'm going to browse. And the file should be right here, Langley Crit. And I'll click Upload. Shouldn't take long because it's not a big file. Uh, one tricky part here is you might need to double just to click on it one more time to make sure it's selected click insert and then you'll notice up here in the URL it's in, actually in the images folder and then there's the uh, link to that and you can click insert and there you go and now I'll save it so I'm taking back to the front page and here you go so there's the link that'll pop me up to uh, photos from Nina and then the results should pop up as a PDF.